if a six-year-old child has a mum die, at that time they're going to grieve as a six-year-old child. But developmentally, that child's going to look at the situation very differently when they're nine, ten, or eleven. And so a lot of that grief will they'll be experiencing it then as well, because they'll be at a new developmental stage. And for a lot of parents, they'll come back and say, is my child doing this wrong? Or why is this all coming up now? It's not that they're doing it wrong. That's just how children grieve. They only have the capacity to understand it at the developmental stage that they're at right then. A three-year-old isn't going to grasp the concept of this is forever. You know, so when they get to be a couple years older, it's a whole new thing that they've experienced, the death of a close family member. We really um, try to educate parents so that they understand that when, this, when the child's grief comes up at various stages throughout their life, that it's a completely natural thing. It's not that there's anything pathological about it. It's a, it's a natural response to having someone you love die and being a child and understanding it at de different developmental stages. So if the parents have any real concerns about it when it's coming up, absolutely we, we ask them to you know, call us and we'll walk you through this at the time and everything else, but we really try to educate parents and, and let them know this is what it looks like to be a child who's grieving the death of a close family member. It is going to come back up especially if the child's living in a family where um, there is a lot of open communication. You know, people are still talking about the person who's died. And, and we're really encouraging families to do that because we do know that kids naturally keep a strong connection to any family member who's died after their death. Quite often that will get socialized out of children. So we really want to foster that connection. It's a healthy thing for the child to continue that connection. And we really encourage families to keep talking about the person who's died, keep checking in with the kids, and not to be alarmed when several years or even 10 years down the road, the grief might seem really fresh for the children. This is what it looks like for children who are grieving.